While talking about choosing an engineering career a common notion people have is that an engineering career aspirant should be technically very hands-on with the trade she is going to take on. By that they might mean for example, an electrical engineering career aspirant should be talented to work with electrical gadgets. Similarly a mechanical engineering career aspirant should be good at working with mechanical devices like an engine or mechanical tools. Similarly an electronics engineering career aspirant should be good with working with electronic gadgets and so on. Is this notion true? That is what we are going to see in this video. First of all we should understand that engineering career consists of many fields. An engineer may function in various roles and the sum of these roles actually call little to nil hand skills or a hands-on involvement on the part of engineer himself. In this context, we must also distinguish the role of engineer from that of a technician. In fact the technician is supposed to be more hands-on with the trade than an engineer. The role of an engineer is more of a sort of administrative and supervisory compared to a technician. Who is supposed to be actually hands-on with the particular trade and the equipment they are working with? Now coming to the various job roles of an engineer, engineers work in various domains like design, installation, maintenance, operation and research. Out of this only the maintenance and operation are likely to involve at least some amount of repair and troubleshooting work. Even in such a case the role of an engineer is actually more in the domain of analysis of the problem and suggesting solutions for the problem than actually working hands-on with the equipment. It is the technician who is likely to work directly with the equipment in a plant that may involve isolating, dismantling or changing the components or troubleshooting an equipment. Which process does need some hand skills. However an engineer is less likely to get involved in such a work directly. No doubt an engineer should have a good talent in understanding how a machine operates, read technical diagrams, understand specifications and so on. But the basic notion that an electrical engineer should be able to repair electrical equipment, or a mechanical engineer should be able to repair mechanical gadgets, or an electronics engineer should be able to repair electronic gadgets etc. are basically flawed and not accurate. In fact this flawed notion has actually led to some misconceptions in the society who tend to consider an engineer who doesn't know how to repair things is not a good engineer. Which is actually not really true. In fact even a technician who is supposed to work hands on with the equipment may not be able to do so unless and until he is given specific training for that particular equipment. And for that particular purpose and only after getting many years of experience he will be able to work on that equipment confidently. To sum up an engineer doesn't need to be hands on with the various equipment in his trade as is held widely but it belongs more to the domain of a technician. The expected faculties of engineer is more of an administrative analytical and supervisory type. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for listening and please subscribe to my channel.